Hey, it's me, Just Steph. Here we go. It's, this is the Just Steph Rules of Dating for today. Here we go. Okay, here we go. I have something that has been infuriating me. Hey, David. So, listen up. And I'm going to make this abundantly clear. There is a word that people reference when it comes to dating. And it infuriates me. I get like the heat miser. So, here we go. So, yesterday I'm having lunch with a friend and this word came up exclusive like when in regards to um, relationships like it's a jail sentence or you're getting married or moving in together well you know what how about it's just maybe giving somebody a shot and just paying attention to one person for a minute and letting everything go so you can figure out if this person is worth it. And the way that I see it, if a guy or girl is dating somebody and they don't care if they're dating somebody else or seeing somebody else and they don't care if they're sharing, sharing isn't caring in the dating world. And I just feel like people use that word for, you know, it's like it's a, you're on death row, a solitary confinement or something. And really, the truth is, is what harm is it when you sort of fall back and say, hey, if you're over 45, if you're over 45, and I'm thinking, you know what, even younger than that, but I'm giving give the younger people a little slack, you can sort of figure out after one or two dates if you like somebody more than everybody else and whether or not you should just give them a chance and say, hey, you know, uh... I'm going to just see what's going on here and see if it works and sort of let everything go. I mean, you know, I think that um, it's okay if uh, you just take a little break for a minute and pay how can you give one person the attention they deserve? Why would you go out with three different people or four different people in a week when you could go out with a great person three or four times? I mean, that's what I think. You know, why would I want to waste five minutes of my time with somebody who uh, is not as interesting as somebody else? And I would want to spend that time, you know, um, with that person. So instead, and tr trying to get to know whether or not this is going to work. And you cannot, it, it's too much going on. We have so much going on in our busy lives. We're working, uh, I mean, for me, I'm building a business. I have four kids. I'm running a household. And I have a social life and friends. And I don't, quite frankly, have time to be wasting with somebody who is not, you know, that doesn't really want to be there or, or isn't interested or isn't interesting to me. So if I don't like somebody or if I don't think that, you know, they're going to be a potential long-term relationship, why would I waste five minutes with them? Why? It's just a waste of time. I mean, my, you know, I don't have a biological clock ticking, but I do have a life clock that's ticking and I want to enjoy every aspect of my life and surround myself with people who are kind and good and loving and they want to be in your world. So that word exclusive for me, I only want it, I swear, if any of my friends ever use that word with me again, I'm going to pull the toenails out because I only want it to describe a, uh, a nice five-star hotel in some venue, uh, you know, somewhere else. Exclusive should not be and, you know, that word is so negative. It has this name. You're not exclusive, are you? Oh, my God. Well, hello. Does that mean you were getting married? Does it mean you're moving in together? Does it mean it's a jail sentence? No. It just means that, you know what? I'm going to give this person the time that they deserve. And because they are worth it. They are worth it. 
and I'm worth that. And nobody wins. When you like somebody and you find them interesting and you're still dating a bunch of other people, who wins in that? Who? Do I? No. Do you? No. And who, what about the person you're dating that doesn't, isn't really a potential person for you? What a waste of their time. Don't bother. So never, ever use the word exclusive with regards to relationships with me again. I promise you I will chop your toenails off. It's not going to work. And I don't like it. I don't want it. I, I, what about, you know, hey, I just want to give somebody the time. Don't use that. Don't use that word with me ever, ever. I, I just I'm so infuriated. I really probably shouldn't even be on here today because I'm so infuriated by the conversation I had yesterday by the word that was used for me. And it was not a bad conversation. It just it just spoke to me that why would anyone's, you know, a human being is a human being with that deserves dignity and respect. You don't dis disregard them like they're a nobody. And I think when you if you like somebody enough, when, if you're for, over 45 and you've had a bunch of experience with people, you know who you want in your world. You know who you want close to you. You know who, you know, you might figure out in a month that they have some weird stuff going on, but at least you've given them the time that it takes to get to know that and you're not, well think about it, if you're going out with three different people every single week, it's going to take you six months to figure out that that person's a weirdo. Why not figure it out now by spending the time and taking the time to give them and yourself what you need to know if you want to spend more time with them. And you know, this can even apply to friendships. Like if you meet a new person, you know, I mean, do they, you want to be around them? Friend, you know, it, you know, you have to see, but you know, friendships are a little bit different because you're not spending time with them, you know, more quiet time. But I think it's, it has to do across the board with, with human beings. We, we've lost the, the fact that we need to treat, we, it becomes such a digital world. And we've lost that humanity, that touch, that the conversation, the hanging out, that it takes time to really know somebody's heart. And I consider somebody sharing their heart with me, that's sacred ground. That's, you know, that I, 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 I protect that. I, I find it's an honor and a privilege for somebody to share their heart with me. And it's sacred. That, that's sacred ground. And what happened to that? What happened to all of that interaction and the community and hanging out and, and getting to know somebody and really seeing what's in their heart. It's all about the pictures and the digital and, you know, all of that. I mean, we've lost, we've lost it. We've lost what it truly means to be human. And that exchange of hearts, I could cry about this. That exchange of hearts is what makes us this is what differentiates us from the animals. We, we can exchange hearts, and that is such an important part of relationships. And when people just go from one to the next, to the next, to the next, you know, I don't know how you do it. And disregard them like they're not even human beings. I, I don't know. Even the... When I was, I shut down all my dating apps. I, I, I'm just so not into it anymore. I don't even care. I don't want to be alone. I'll be alone. But when, when I was on the dating apps, if, even if some wacko emailed me, I said, thank you very much for, for reaching out. I don't believe we're a match. I wish you all the best. At least I treated them with the dignity and the respect that they deserve as a human being. Everybody is a human being and deserves to be treated that way. So please don't ever use the word exclusive with me in regards to a relationship like it's a bad thing. It's not. It's a good thing. And it means that you see the dignity and 
with the, in the other person and you you offer them the respect that they deserve so I'm sure that there's a bunch of you going oh she's crazy she's stupid she's you know she's gonna get her heart trampled on well guess what it already has been broken it's already been shattered so it doesn't matter y you know no it can't be can't get any worse can't get any worse it's you know been awful but when it comes to that stuff but I choose every day to be my authentic self to be real and to share my heart even if that means getting hurt because it's worth it the greater the risk the greater the reward and it's worth getting hurt when you can enjoy the company of another person and when you can enjoy another human being and exchange hearts and be together and hang out so um, that's all I wanted to say about that I know I went on a little rant but I just feel like um, you know we've lost it we've really lost it as a society and um, I uh, I really feel like um, we need to start treating each other a little bit better and really taking into consideration people's hearts and who they are and um, loving people where they're at and accepting where they're at and being okay and you know something might not work for you and that's fine and you can say you know what this doesn't work for me but enjoy your life and that's great and you know I respect you enough to say hey this isn't working for me but other than that I, I just I just think that um, we've lost it and um, I'm gonna talk about this more on my show in about three weeks this week coming up on my show I'm gonna talk about clean your house before you invite anybody in that's gonna that's coming up this week um, on the just Steph rules of dating on my show with uh, fighter I have uh, the MMA champ Joe Elmore and of course my brother from another mother Rusty Newport is gonna be on telling us about the great Gatsby gala and uh, of course we will be talking about the working out with the um, with kickboxing and all of that with Joe but he's gonna talk about his fight and we're also going to um, give you all the fun stuff that's going on in Atlanta I'm turning 50 this year so uh, big party at Whiskey Mistress October 22nd so come on come on down it's gonna be super fun and um, anyway I uh, I hope you all understand where I'm at, and I, I, you don't have to agree with me, but it is what it is. Listen, take a risk, be vulnerable, share your heart, and love always. Wishing you love, balance, and peace. Ciao, ciao, baby. I love you all. Know that.